Being one of the biggest manufacturers in the world, it is normal to see a lot of Boeing aircraft flying around. What's less common, though, is to see strangely modified passenger aircraft that are now flying for a whole different purpose. In this video, you are going to discover the top 10 strangest Boeing aircraft ever built. You will see simple passenger jets that have been transformed into flying weapons, or laboratories and have extremely strange shapes and features. So make sure to watch until the end to discover them all. Before we start, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more exciting aviation content. All that said and done, let's get started. Number 10. The Boeing 757-200 Catfish The Catfish was the first 757 to be ever built. Its main distinctive feature is the peculiar canard above the cockpit. The wing-shaped canard was used to simulate the F-22-F-35 sensor layout. If you look closely, you'll also notice that its nose also looks very similar to the nose of the F-22. The wing contains F-22 electronic warfare and communication, navigation, and identification sensors. The 757-200 also has a full F-22 cockpit inside. This 757 was built to be a testbed for Lockheed Martin's F-22 Raptors avionic and sensor integration. The body of the Catfish has a 32-seat laboratory with computers, communication, electronic warfare systems, and various other sensors. The nose of the aircraft is also fitted with a small F-22 airfoil with sensors that are designed to monitor the airflow over the combat aircraft's wing and eventually improve it to provide the best performance possible. Number 9. The Lockheed Martin Catbird A highly modified 737-330 had its first flight at Mojave Spaceport back in 2007. It was later named the Catbird, which is an adapted anagram from Cooperative Avionics Testbed. Catbird is also the IKO callsign for Lockheed Martin aircraft. The plane has a fighter jet-style nose designed to replicate the F-35 with a small sensory wing just below the door. It is also equipped with all the bells and whistles of the fighter jet, such as a fully equipped cockpit, communication, and radar systems. The purpose of the 737 is to provide an avionics suite for Lockheed Martin so they could develop flight testing for the F-35 fighter jet in an economical way. The plane was developed and built by BAE Systems in 2006. It was then used to test the F-35 aerodynamics and collect information for development. Its shape is so special that it definitely cannot go unnoticed. Number 8. The Boeing 707 Falcon The Boeing 707 Falcon is possibly the strangest aircraft ever built. Its iconic balloon-shaped front nose looks ridiculous, but what was its purpose? The 707 Falcon has a whole host of electronic surveillance equipment, early warning equipment, and communication technology. The Chilean Air Force purchased the 707-344C to work as an early warning system and target tracking system. The development system was mounted on the 707 by an Israeli company who specialized in solid-state radar technology. The Israeli Air Force currently operate a 707-385C that differs from the others by its distinct black nose. The reason for this is unclear, however, it's likely that it's used for heat absorption or some form of radar optimization. The 707-385C is a newer model with more advanced equipment and overall better systems. Number 7. The Boeing YC-14 the United States Air Force used the YC-14 to replace the C-130 Hercules as its tactical transport vehicle. The YC-14 is a twin-jet aircraft specialized at short takeoffs and landings. The design is unique as it has two large jet engines mounted to either side of the fuselage. This was designed to provide enormous power close to the airplane's body. This power allows the aircraft to take off on shorter runways, making it a more versatile option as a transport plane. The aircraft could also carry huge payloads of up to 109,000 pounds, this meant it could carry the main battle tank at the time, the M60 Patton. Impressively, the plane could fly at both ends of the spectrum in terms of speed. During testing, speeds as low as 59 knots and even Mach 0.78 were recorded, which are incredible figures for a plane of this size. Number 6. The Boeing RC-135E – Rivet Amber The RC-135E is a sophisticated reconnaissance aircraft that was built by Boeing and modified by many different companies. It was used by both the United States Air Force and the Royal Air Force to conduct intelligence surveillance missions. The Rivet Amber was a one-of-a-kind aircraft and was equipped with a massive phased array radar system. The radar system was the heaviest on any RC-135 and cost the U.S. Air Force $35 million, making it the most expensive Air Force aircraft at its time. It only operated from 1966 to 1969, but was one of, if not the most advanced reconnaissance aircraft for its time. 
The radar was so advanced it could track a football from 300 miles away and was designed to stop Soviet ballistic missiles from testing in the re-entry phase. Number 5. The Boeing 377 Stratocruiser The Stratocruiser's first flight was in 1947 and was a long-range airliner that was very advanced for its day. The original Stratocruiser was developed from a C-97 Strata freighter that had a pressurized cabin and two passenger decks. Both were new features on transport aircraft in the 1940s. The Stratocruiser was also exceptionally large for the time. It had four engines and could hold up to 84 passengers. Only 55 were ever built due to the poor reliability of the airframe and its Pratt & Whitney radial propeller engines. The adaptation from a military transport vehicle to a civilian passenger jet was not as smooth as Boeing would have liked it to be. The large, long-range transport aircraft was expensive to run and even more expensive to maintain. Nevertheless, Pan Am placed an order for 20 Stratocruisers which cost $24 million. Even though the Stratocruiser had imperfections, it was better than anything else competitors were producing. Number 4. The Boeing 757 Honeywell Testbed Honeywell operates a unique Boeing 757 as a testbed for various jet engines. The Honeywell 757 has an extra engine mount that can be configured to test different engines and wing designs that various companies are developing. Sometimes, Honeywell will use the 757 to test a turboprop engine or a gas turbine engine, and sometimes it will simply fit as a standard flat wing design to conduct airfoil testing. The engine mount is not large enough to test big jet engines as it can only hold around 700 kilograms, and this makes it different from the Rolls-Royce and General Electric aircraft testbeds. However, the aircraft is very easy to be configured, and this saves vital time and resources that can be better spent on engine development. Number 3. Boeing NKC-135 Big Crow The two NKC-135 testbed aircraft were given the designation Big Crow. The aircraft have been heavily modified for electronic warfare testing and have also been used for testing an infrared tracking system. Big Crow has been modified for many different reasons over its lifetime. It has been pictured with large black elements on its fuselage and nose. This was most likely to test the YAL-1 airborne laser that Boeing had developed. The aircraft was modified with a signboard target on its fuselage. That test later validated the system's ability to track in-air targets. This was revolutionary for the development of heat-seeking technology. The two aircraft have since been retired after their long service to the U.S. Air Force. Number 2. The Boeing 720-23B Testbed This aircraft was the 177th model 707-type airplane built by Boeing. The aircraft initially flew for American Airlines before being bought by Middle East Airlines. Because of the political tensions in Lebanon in 1982, the aircraft was stored in Paris Orly Airport and flew occasionally passengers for Air France. Pratt & Whitney Canada bought the aircraft in 1986 and registered it as Charlie Foxtrot Echo Tango Bravo. That stands for Flying Experimental Testbed. As you can see, the aircraft was heavily modified so that the Canadian manufacturer can run different engines tests to improve their product's quality. That's why sometimes you'll see this aircraft fitted with a gas turbine engine on the forward side of the fuselage, and sometimes you'll also see it with a turboprop. I don't know about you, but a turboprop fitted on a four-engines jet is one of the weirdest and impressive things I've ever seen. This engine was the one designed to power the famous Bombardier Q series. And here's our number one strangest Boeing aircraft that has ever flown. If you've enjoyed the video so far, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so far. Number 1. The Boeing 767 AST The AST stands for Airborne Surveillance Testbed as the first 767 ever built was converted to conduct missile tracking tests for the Air Force. The advanced aircraft features a pod that stores all the sensitive optical equipment used to track missile launches of the United States program. The Airborne Surveillance Testbed is used to collect infrared data on various ballistic missile targets. It has been to test a wide variety of missile ranges such as the Kwajalein Missile Range KMR, and the Pacific Range Missile Facility. Despite its strange look, this plane contained the most expensive and technologically advanced missile tracking technology on Earth. Unfortunately, when the AST program ended in 2002, the aircraft was scrapped and its life came to an end. Which of these models are the most impressive according to you? Let me know by leaving a comment down below. If you want to watch more Aviation Top 10s, click on any of the videos you see on your screen right now. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to never miss an upload. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you later.